Hello and welcome to Shams English Academy. Please support us with subscribe, like, comment and sharing this video with your friends. Listen and practice. My favorite movie. I have watched many movies in my life, but none of them has thrilled me as much as Star Wars, Episode 4 A New Hope. It is a masterpiece of science fiction cinema, a classic of adventure and action, a tale of rebels and rogues, of Jedi and Sith, of droids and aliens, of spaceships and planets. The movie tells the story of a young FARM boy named Luke Skywalker, who lives on the desert planet of Tatooine with his aunt and uncle. He dreams of leaving his boring life and joining the Rebel Alliance, a group of freedom fighters who oppose the evil Galactic Empire. Led by the sinister Darth Vader, a dark lord of the Sith who wields a red lightsaber and commands the Death Star, a giant space station that can destroy entire planets. Luke's destiny changes when he meets two droids, R2-D2 and C-3PO, who carry a secret message from Princess Leia Organa, a leader of the Rebellion who has been captured by Vader. The message contains the plans of the Death Star and a plea for help from Obi-Wan Kenobi an old hermit who lives in the nearby mountains. Luke decides to follow the droids and find Obi-Wan, who turns out to be a Jedi Knight, a warrior of peace and justice who uses the Force, a mystical energy that binds all living things. Obi-Wan tells Luke that he was once Vader's teacher, but Vader turned to the dark side and betrayed him. He also tells Luke that he is the son of Anakin Skywalker, a former Jedi who was killed by Vader. He gives Luke his father's lightsaber, a blue-bladed weapon that can cut through anything. He also asks Luke to join him in his mission to deliver the plans to the Rebellion and rescue Leia. Luke agrees to go with Obi-Wan, but they need a fast ship and a pilot to take them off Tatooine. They go to Mos Eisley, a spaceport full of scum and villainy, where they meet Han Solo, a smuggler and captain of the Millennium Falcon, a modified freighter that can outrun any Imperial ship, and Chewbacca, his loyal co-pilot and friend, a hairy and strong alien known as a Wookiee. They also encounter some stormtroopers, the elite soldiers of the Empire, who are looking for the droids. They manage to escape from them and blast off into space. They reach Alderaan, Leia's home planet, but they find out that it has been destroyed by the Death Star as a demonstration of its power. They are then captured by its tractor beam and pulled into its hangar bay. They disguise themselves as stormtroopers and sneak into the station. They split up. Obi-Wan goes to disable the tractor beam, Luke, Han, and Chewie go to rescue Leia, R2-D2 and C-3PO stay behind to monitor the situation. They face many dangers and enemies along the way, such as more stormtroopers, laser turrets, trash compactors, blast doors, and Darth Vader himself. They also encounter some allies and friends, such as Wedge Antilles, Big Stark Lighter, Red Leader, and Gold Leader. Some of the best pilots of the Rebellion, who join them in their attack on the Death Star. They manage to escape from the Death Star with Leia and reunite with Obi-Wan. However, Obi-Wan sacrifices himself to allow them to flee. He faces Vader in a lightsaber duel and lets him strike him down. He then becomes one with the Force and guides Luke with his voice. They reach Haven 4, a moon where the rebel base is located. They learn that the Death Star is following them and will soon be in range to fire its super laser. 
they decide to launch an assault on it with their X-Wing fighters. They have to exploit its only weakness, a small thermal exhaust port that leads to its main reactor. If they can fire a proton torpedo into it, they can cause a chain reaction that will destroy it. Luke joins the attack as Red 5. He flies with his friends and comrades against overwhelming odds. They are attacked by TIE fighters, the agile fighters of the Empire, turbo lasers, the powerful cannons of the Death Star, and Darth Vader himself, who leads an elite squadron of TIE pilots. Many rebels are killed or wounded in the battle. Luke is one of the few who reaches the trench that leads to the exhaust port. He is about to fire his torpedo when he hears Obi-Wan's voice telling him to use the Force instead of his computer. He trusts his instincts and fires. The torpedo hits the target and the Death Star explodes. Luke is hailed as a hero by the Rebellion. He is awarded a Medal of Honor by Leia along with Han and Chewie. They celebrate their victory and mourn their losses. They also feel the presence of Obi-Wan, who watches over them from beyond. The movie ends with a triumphant music and a hopeful message, the Force will be with them, always. If this video was useful for you, please support us with Subscribe Like Comment and share this video with your friends.